Welcome back YouTube to Rick's YouTube channel. Today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can get your account back in season five. So we've just had the new update this morning. Quickly start Fortnite up now on the PlayStation 5. You'll get to the account linking page. For whatever reason, somebody might have unlinked your account, your brother, your sister. You've just downloaded season five. You'll get this screen here. You won't know anything about it and think to yourself, well, I've not logged out. It's just updated. It may have done this, some sort of glitch or something like that. And you'll press skip an account. Or if you're playing on a ghost account, you need to watch this video. I'll show you how to upgrade that ghost account to a full Epic Games account. Then you can enable 2F8 or something like that, or get your old account back, which I'm gonna show you how to do. So once Fortnite finishes checking for updates, it will go to this account linking page. Obviously there's so many people on the game at the moment because of the new season. So you might get this page up here. You were perfectly logging into Fortnite yesterday. You think to yourself, well, I'm not, I don't want to link an account. I, you know, my, I didn't unlink it. So you might press the square button, skip this. And then you think, well, yeah, I didn't unlink an account. And then it will give you a warning, but you probably won't have read that. You'll just say, no thanks. Let's press, let's play Fortnite. So then it looks like it's logging into your account. You'll press the accept button. You'll hit the X button to play Battle Royale. I'll start connecting. You'll think everything's okay until you get into the main lobby and see that your, all your skins have been reset. Even though it's a new season, you'll be at level one. It's still quite a frightening thought for the first time. I've been unlinking and linking counts way back since season two, way before Epic Games ever told you how to unlink and link account or get your main account back if it was a ghost account. They've only just recently started doing that uh, over the past couple of seasons. So we're gonna enable crossplay, and you can see I am on a level one account. It will be level one, but let's just go into my locker I've got nothing in there whatsoever. Everything is gone. All my V-Bucks are gone. And you're probably, can you control off the wall at the moment thinking, where is my main account gone? So this is called a ghost account, a headless account. Uh, you can't do anything with it. It's not assigned to an Epic Games account. So you can't unlink it. So if you went on your Epic Games account now and tried to unlink it, you'd see your account is unlinked and there is no way of taking this account off your PlayStation Network or your Xbox account. So what you've got to do, you need to link this ghost or headless account to an Epic Games account. And the first thing you need to do is create a new email. Don't use your previous email for your main account. You'll need to create a new email. To go over to a PC or a mobile device, which I'm on now, so I'm on my Epic Games account now, but I'm gonna to have to sign out. I don't want to sign into my Epic Games account. My main account is unlinked for my PlayStation 5. Now I'm gonna press sign in, and I'm gonna sign in with my PlayStation Network. You have to sign in what console you're on. So I'm gonna fill in my PlayStation Network details. For the account that I'm on now, the account that I want to link the ghost account to, which will be the same as my main account. So I've just hit sign in for my PlayStation Network account. I've got 2FA enabled on my account, so I'm going to have to wait for the verification code that I'll pick up on my mobile device. And I've just got it now. I'm going to press verify. You might not get this if you've not enabled 2FA on your PlayStation or your Xbox Microsoft account. Then it's going to ask create an account. So you create an account for this ghost headless account. So you need to fill in all your details there. You can put your same name in. You can uh, make up a new display name. Then where it says email address, make sure you create a new email and put the new email address in there and also create a password that you're gonna be able to remember. Once you've filled out all your details, press continue. And then it will ask you to verify your email. So you need to go back to your new email now and check for a new 
verification from Epic Games. You can see that I've just got that now. I'm just going to copy this, paste it in here, press verify email. And there's my new account. So I'm going to go over to accounts. I'm going to go over to connections. And then my PlayStation Network is connected to this new Ghost account. So it's not a Ghost account now, it's a full Epic Games account. And it's using the same PlayStation Network as my main account. So my main account is hidden behind this here. Now all you have to do to get your account back is press disconnect. Click all the boxes and then press unlink. Now you've unlinked that ghost account that's on your PlayStation or Xbox. So if I just move this over here, we'll try jumping into it again. It should log us out straight away. There you go. I'm going to press retry. Now I'm going to press start. Now I'm going to link an account. So I'm not going to press skip this. I'm going to press link an account. Now you'll get this unique code and you'll have to go over to www.epicgames forward slash activate to put that code in the activation box. And what it will do is link your main account back to your PlayStation or your Xbox. So I'm going to open up another browser. I'm going to type Fortnite activation page or activate hit the top link I'll make this box a little bit bigger now I have to put the code which is on the PlayStation or the Xbox into this box here but there's just one more thing you can see at the bottom here it's my new account I don't want to link my PlayStation back to that ghost account or to that new account. So I'm going to have to press click here because I don't want to link it into that account. So I'm going to press sign in with Epic Games, pulled out my main account. So I put my proper main account and my password in. I'm going to press login. I'll ask you to do this capture challenge. At last, I completed the capture challenge. Because I've got two FA set up on my main account, it's going to ask me to verify my account before I actually sign in. So I'm going to go back over to my phone, get my two factor code, press continue. And at the bottom now, you can see that's my main account. So I'm going to put the code which is on the screen. You've got 10 minutes to do it, so you can do it in plenty of time. Now I'm going to press connect. And it says your device has been activated on your account and is ready. The screen on your PlayStation or Xbox will refresh shortly. You can see it refreshing. Let's get rid of this piece and hopefully we'll load into my main account on the same PlayStation network, which I made that ghost account. So now I am back on my main account. If we just go over to Locker, you can see I'm back on my main account. So that's how you get your main account. If you've unlinked it or press skip this, you've lost your account. Remember, your main account has to be created on the same PlayStation Network or Xbox account as that ghost account. If you're trying to link an account that's already associated with a different PlayStation Network or Xbox, it will not let you switch it over to a different Microsoft or PlayStation account. Now that ghost account, I can simply go back to Epic Games now and then link my main account and log back into that other account. So if you've been playing on that ghost or headless account for ages and bought skins, so you'd have two accounts now with skins, V-Bucks, that you could simply just log out of your main account and log into that new account now so you can swap accounts. It's just a quick one before I go, you might see on top of my character it is displaying my epic display name. 
it's not a different PSN account, it's displaying my Epic display name because the first time you log back into your account, it will display that. What I'll do is I'll close down Fortnite altogether and I'll relaunch Fortnite and you'll see it display my PlayStation Network name instead of my Epic name. It always does that for some reason, but I know somebody will comment in the comment box below saying I'm using a different PlayStation account. You can see here it says signed in as Rick's YouTube C. So that's my PlayStation Network name. We'll go into the main lobby now and you'll see the main change. There you can see Rick's YouTube C. Quickly go back to the locker just to show you. It's still on the same account. There you go. So that's how you get your main account back if you made a headless or ghost account and for some reason it became unlinked. Remember to drop a like, it really helps the channel out. If you're new around here, consider subscribing and I shall get back to you with another Fortnite tutorial. Thanks for watching.